That was a bit awkward. I was like, oh god. We're meeting Nathan at Tradeworks. So yes, 15,000 kilometers without a service. Look, it's not recommended, but unfortunately sometimes that's just how it goes when I'm lazy. Alright, so first we're going to drain the oil. Oh, there we go. Not too bad, considering. So this dent, um... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Broken. Look, in terms of assessing the damage we took um, the other weekend in King Lake, it wasn't too bad apart from this tire and this dent here. Yeah, all right, back to the service. Oh, God, absolutely putrid. Yeah, that's cute. Cheap alternative to buying a new one. Just smash it out. It'll do. You'll be right. Welcome. <laughs> Ew, what the fuck is that? That might just be oil. First time, you, what's the oil like that come out? It's black, I'm sure. All right, that's basically all drained out, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it. So now we're gonna change the oil filter. It's just up here. Oil filter right there. This one's a Z79A. Z79A. So I'm gonna have to try and catch it and... It's, um... <laughs> oh. Oh, that was a bit of oil fell on my hair. Servicing the padge, finally. What is the first time it's had oil? <laughs> the first time I've changed it since I've owned it. Nah. How much does it take? Five litres. How much is that? Five litres. Oh, well. Five litres, that'd be so good. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Buy a 20 litre drum, you get four services out of it. Yeah. 40,000 k's worth. You literally... Alright, give her a starty start. So now we're going to change the fuel filter. So you're meant to actually depressurize this by disconnecting the fuel pump and then running the car until it runs out of fuel. But my fuel pump is located underneath my drawer system, which is all bolted in and I cannot be bothered unbolting all that. So we're just going to disconnect it while it's pressurized and hopefully it doesn't, um, yeah, squirt around too much. But we'll see how it goes. All right, now, no cigarettes, no flames, none of that, because this is petrol. Oh, it's fuel, it's fuel. Yeah, maybe we just cracked it. Yeah, I heard it. Oh yeah, no, that's loose now. There you go. Alright, All right, so now we have the um, fuel filter out of the car, and now we're just going to take off the housing for it. And then we'll put the new fuel filter on, and we should be in business. So yeah, when they say, you know, depressurize, you don't have to. It's just a recommendation. So there you go on there. Clippy clip. This guy pulls into here. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty tight. Turn around and hope she's not spraying out. Hey, this is the first time you've changed. Yep, no leaks, we're good. All right, so the car is done. So now, whoa, we're gonna head down to the post office because we've got to post some stickers. And then I want to get around to fixing that dent. That's gonna be a challenge. Getting onto the bitumen, let's open her up and see how she goes. Thank you to everyone buying stickers. Really appreciate it. Helps us, you know, fund back into the channel and buy more dumb things and do more dumb things. So we really do appreciate it. All right, we're gonna try and punch it home up this bit of a steep hill. I have to shift the first every time I do this. We'll try it in second. All right, we'll really go. We'll really gun it. We'll see if we get up there. All right, here we go. You always need like a suction thing. 
not like a. It's not like a. Gentle it's not like a gentle bit. It's like a. No, it's like it's, it's, like it's pink. pink. No, no go. The boiling water didn't work. Um, look, I didn't really think it was gonna work, but eh, it was worth a try. I think that quarter pound's kind of just done for now, but eh, not a huge deal. Right now we're on the way to Dan's house, so we'll catch up with him and James, and then yeah. Oh no, we're out of water. God damn it. You know, the, our top three videos we did, mm. all our top four videos yeah. we did, we were all hungover and very tired. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, we did it's the, almost the three, when we don't three, try it. The three parts of the three. Wow. $7. $7. Enough, enough fuses for a, for a terribly wide patrol. Oh, uh, yeah, show yes. us the mower. Oh my God. Oh, no. I backed it off. Oh, I've got to have battery supply. Ah. Uh, Sometimes I wonder why I even try. That was a bit awkward. I was like, oh god, <laughs> it ran so well yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, it's looking a bit more level. That's what it's supposed to sort of sit like. Another injury that Pajero got when we were forward driving was that the bar actually sort of dug into the bank and got pulled way down. That's what actually caused the tire to burst because the bull bar literally punched the tire when the car kind of went boom. So hopefully we're gonna jack this up and get it out of the way because if I put a new tire on here and go forward driving, the same thing's gonna happen again. Ooh. <laughs> I think that's going to be kind of the best we can get, to be honest. Now, these little bits where the paint's actually chipped off, I'm actually going to cover that up just with a bit of permanent marker. Um, this is actually, I don't know if you can see that, a Mitsubishi uh, marker. <laughs> so, I don't know when they may have started making textures instead of cars, but we're just going to kind of paint over this. And that should hopefully stop the panels from surface rusting a little bit, um, just because I got this little bit of ink protection on them. So I think we've done a fairly good job. Tomorrow we're gonna get new tires on it, so see how that goes. Pajero. Alright, so it's the next day and we're gonna pick up our new tire today. We're throwing on a 32 inch mud tire. It's just a Chinese. That was a big puddle! Yeah, it's just some Chinese tire, but um, it'll be enough to get us by for the next few weeks until I get a new car. Um, yes, I might be getting a new car. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're meeting Nathan at Treadworks. He's gonna sort out a new tire for us, so let's go do that now. back at Industrial Park Drive. All right, so we've done that. New tire is on. Big shout out for Nathan from Treadworks to help me get that tire. Um, it means I can go out this weekend and not fear I'm gonna blow the other one. So that's so good, we got that done. Now we're gonna head home and beat all this peak hour traffic. All right, so we are gonna end up cutting this uh, bull bar back. Probably gonna go straight from there and kind of get us a bit away from that tire, but... The new attack bar. We'll probably get like a um, axle. Better than that. that was a good nice. Bloody beautiful. So if you want your own Aussie Arvo stickers, you can buy them at aussiearvos.com.au. Five dollars, free shipping Australia wide. Go get one. 
So that is the end of today's episode. So obviously you saw last night that we finished cutting the bull bar. Uh, if you come have a look here, it's a lot better than what it was. I don't think it's gonna rub. So we're getting all loaded up for the weekend. I've got the swag on the roof. We're good to go. So yes, thanks for watching and like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode.